you up. joining us. Come in the photo. Oh, right at the front. Yeah. Excuse me, guys, at the back. Nick wants to do one Yeah, Nick wants to do one I'll catch you later. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you, Mike. I'm just going to go and then I'll catch you on your walking. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Good luck, guys. See you. Thank you. Bye. What we're going to do is we're going to have a few speeches here and then we're going to march around um, the town and end up outside the Majestic Cinema where we'll have a view of all the speeches. This is just one in a long line of cuts for services in our local area. So bit by bit, all these things that we need, that we rely on, are being taken away from us. And we only realise when we go to use them, and they're not there. The audience there, we had some leading oh, cheerers me, me. from Ted and Sonny last week. And last week we were marching for four demands, and they were jobs, education, health and employment. Our mental health is severely underfunded and we've seen that they've tried to get rid of beds and it's been a long-term thing. When I started campaigning after the 2010 general election, we had mental health nurses coming up to us in the streets and saying how they'd had to apply, reapply for their own jobs at lower banding. So mental health has been cut under the radar for a long time. I would say in the last five years, the mental health issues have just absolutely gone through the roof. And we've got young people who are taking overdoses on way to class, um, on Facebook at night, trying to talk to the support workers and staff, saying that they're trying to commit suicide as we talk to them. Um, they're all self-harming, they've all got addiction issues. They are just in absolute mess. Um, and so the reason I've come today is because we don't need less mental health support, we need absolutely masses more. And it's, all, it's in the primary schools as well. They've got young children in primary school who are now having panic attacks. Um, talking about self-harming and already started using cannabis in Kingsley. So, let's not shut anything. No. Because this is important. The mental health service in West Norfolk is not fit for purpose. Do you all agree? Yes. yes. My wife's family have suffered two suicides. One shot his head off, well done. And she had to go out to Canada with her mother. And children shouldn't really be suffering. They should be getting all the help they can get. It's a disgrace. You know, this kid, you know, he's afraid to go out. He's got no friends. You know, he's locked in his own little room. He's not playing PC games or anything like that. He's not even able to do that. You know, and this kid's getting no help. What a disgrace. Why are we not putting money into the mental health service? Norman. Well, I think the first thing to say is you just can't trust the Tories with the NHS no. at all. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not just mental health, it's doctor surgery. Well, NHS England told me yesterday, doctors are going off sick with stress. They're going part-time, then they're retiring, and they're not coming back as locums. And why is that? Well, you see how the government's treated the, the junior doctors, actually got them to go on strike, which is unheard of. Well, the government doesn't treat doctors and nurses with the respect it should. And the, have you ever heard of anything called the Transformation Plan? Sustainability and Transformation Plans? Well, that is Tory shorthand for cuts. And that means they're trying to cut health, health provision in this area. And so all of us have got to stand up and say to the government, no, this isn't right. The NHS is too precious. The NHS is worth fighting for. The NHS was set up by Labour and we will not see it ruined in Tory hands.
which I think is immoral and evil. And it hits not just our NHS and mental health services, but public services across the board. As that happens, uh, so those who can will pay. Those who can't, the most of us, will be left with the crumbs under the mental health service table. That, in my lifetime, it has never been like this. We've never had to fight like this before. Get on with writing to your MPs and your councillors. Let them know what you feel. And I did invite our MP, Henry Bellingham, to come and speak. But he was not able to. He had a prior engagement. Shame. And we're just going to have a few words from Beth and then Anna's going to talk to us. Thank you. I'll just be quick, I just want to say, my little brother, my 15 year old little brother, has severe depression and personality disorder. He has to travel to London every month to get the help he needs. To London. Every single month. And that is expenses that come out of my family. That isn't acceptable. This is young people being affected because the government cannot be asked to give the right funding to young people and their mental health. Mental health services save lives. Believe me, it can happen to anyone, any one of us, at any time. 
20 years ago I was smacked hard in the face, hard in the face with a severe mental breakdown. Through. If I had been miles away, the other side of the country, they would not have been able to give me their support. It must be impossible and incredibly hard for people to cope without their families by their side at a time when you really need somebody constant. What we've heard is a lot of heartfelt stories about how mental health has impacted on people. We don't think anything is saying we've got a cold, we've got flu, uh, you know, I've hurt my arm and going to the doctor. But when it comes to talking about our mental health condition, it's still very much under the radar. Listen, so we're helping to raise awareness by the fact that we're taken to the streets. What I know is we're going to have to take to the streets more and more often. And it can't be on London based or Norwich based. We have to take to the streets where we live because these are our services. And what we're hearing time and time again is the impact on young people. And yeah, I, I, I do suffer from mental health and yeah, I'm scared. I'm, I, I am a scared person. You know? Where are we with you? you know? I'm, I'm scared. You know? And it's, it's difficult. You know? So, whatever I can do for, for people with mental health, then I'll, I'll, I'm there. I'll, I'll be there. Well done.